my dear students in this video on the continuation of our previous video uh, we are going to solve some problems on quadratic equations which is given in our textbook as exercise 3.1 i already solved one problem in exercise 3.1 in the previous video and continuation of the exercise is a problem by eight if alpha beta gamma and delta are the roots of the equation quadratic equation fourth degree equation 2x power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 8 equal to zero since it is a fourth degree equation we have four roots alpha beta gamma and delta are the four roots of the given quadratic equation quadratic equation find the quadratic equation Whose roots are alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta and alpha beta gamma delta? We have to form the equation having the root quadratic equation with roots alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta one root and alpha beta gamma delta another root. Using these two roots, we have to form a quadratic equation with a given data. Given equation is two x power four plus five x plus minus seven x square plus eight equal to zero. Then sum of the roots of sum of alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta, alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to minus b by a. Our first this one value is sigma alpha. That is, what is it? Minus five by two. Sum of and product all the roots alpha beta gamma delta is since it is a both linear equation. This one is. S one is equal to minus one power one sigma alpha. S two is minus one power two sigma alpha beta. Multiple of double roots and summation. Alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta delta plus gamma alpha like that. And S three equal to minus one power three into summation of multiplication of three roots. Alpha plus beta, alpha beta gamma plus alpha gamma delta plus Like that, multiple of the roots, and S four is the minus one power four alpha beta gamma delta. Sorry, the minus one S one is minus one power one. Is it not minus since alpha beta gamma delta? Huh? Minus plus minus plus fourth degree. Yes, four. One minute. Minus one power one, alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Minus one power two, coefficient of uh, s two is minus one power one. S square is minus one power two. X is minus one power three, and constant uh, is minus one power four. Okay. Since the four roots are given. So, first one is alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is minus b by a. That is minus by two. And the fourth one, product alpha beta gamma is minus one power four is plus. That would be this plus eight by two. Sorry, this is plus eight by two. Eight by two. Therefore, you will get four. Minus one power four is plus. Now we have to form the quadratic equation. The roots are alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta and alpha beta gamma delta. For that product, the sum of the roots is. Alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta plus alpha beta gamma delta is minus will be two plus four. Sorry, this is nothing but minus five by two plus four is eight minus five. Three by two. Three by two. And product is alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta into alpha beta gamma is minus five by two into four plus four. Sorry, minus five by two into four is 
minus k. So the quadratic equation is x square minus sum of the roots in x plus product of the roots equal to 0. x square minus sum of the roots in x. Sum of the roots is minus 3 by 2. That is plus minus 5, 4 to 7, 8, 8 minus 5, 3 by 2. So this is 3 by 2. Minus 3 by 2 into x plus product of the root is minus 10. x square minus sum of the root is 3 by 2 x plus product of the root is minus 10 equal to 0. By multiplying root by 2 you get 2x square minus 3x minus 2 10 or 20 equal to 0. So 2x square minus 3x minus 20 equal to 0 which is the required quadratic equation whose roots are alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta and alpha beta gamma delta. So summation and the product of the roots, fourth roots, multiples of all four roots. Having these two as roots, we have to form the quadratic equation which is this. Okay. So let us go to solve the problem number 9 in the exercise. If uh, P and Q are the roots of the equation Lx square plus Nx plus N. So, coefficient of x is also n and the constant is also n. Lx square plus nx plus n equal to 0. It is given an equation whose roots are p and q. If it is so, then show that root of p by q plus root of q by p plus root of n by n equal to 0. Since p and q are roots of the equation, what is p plus q? Sum of the roots is minus b by a. It is minus n by l. What is the product of the roots? pq. C by A. C is N. N by N. Okay? Sum of the root is P plus Q is minus N by N. Product of the root is, is, product of the root is N by N. C by E. Now, we have to show that root of P by Q plus root of Q by P plus root of n by l equal to 0 we have to prove. Is it not? This is equal to this. You just you add these two. Uh, root p by root q plus root of q by root of p plus root n by root l. I split this into like that and I have to First I add, add these two. This is root of P into root of Q is the LCM for these two things. Root P by root Q plus root Q by root P. LCM is root Q into root P or root P into root Q. This is LCM. So divided by root Q you will get only root P into root P is P in the numerator. On taking LCM, root Q into root Q cancel, you will get root P into root P is P plus root p cancel, root q by root p is q in the numerator. So p plus q in the numerator by root p q plus this is root n by root l. So this is equal to left hand side. This expression root p plus q is what? Minus n by l. See root, I'm uh, sorry, p plus q is minus n by l, you know, minus n by l, by p root p into root q, is I can write it as root p q, this is, you can write it as root p into root q, as root of p q, root p into root q is root of p q, you know p q is n by l, root of p q is root of n by l, root of p q is root of n by l, second one plus already root n by root n is that. Root n by root n. Now you split this minus n. Denominator denominator becomes the numerator, that is root n. Minus n by this denominator root n post numerator, denominator denominator. And this L becomes the already root n is that and this numerator L. Denominator of numerator comes the denominator. 
So on simplification, this is root L by root N. On inverting the reciprocal of this is root L by root N. Root L numerator, root N is in the denominator. Plus root N by root L. C. One root N in the denominator, numerator N is cancelled by a root N. You will get only root N in the numerator. Similarly, one root L is cancelled by the denominator. You will get root N in the denominator. Plus root n by root l already there. C minus root n by root l plus root n by root l is 0 which is equal to right hand side. So we have, we have proved the result root p plus root q plus root n by l root p by q plus root q by p plus root n by l is 0. We proved. That's all. Now the problem number 10 in the exercise is if the equation x square plus px plus q equal to 0 and x square p dash x plus q dash equal to 0. x square plus p dash x plus q dash equal to 0. There are two equations given. And these two equations have a common root. Have a common root. If the two equations having a common root, then show that the common root will be p q dash minus p dash q by q minus q dash or q minus q dash by p dash minus p. The common root may be this one or this one. Okay, we will consider the common root may be alpha. Let the common root be for those two equations the common root must be alpha. You consider that the common root be alpha therefore from the equation 1 since the root is alpha is the common root for this equation you will get therefore by substituting alpha square plus p alpha plus q equal to 0, this is the equation 1. After giving substitution, because uh, the since the alpha is the root, you will get alpha square plus p alpha plus q equal to 0. Similarly, for the second one, the second equation, alpha square plus p dash alpha plus q dash equal to 0. This is your second equation. Now, subtracting these two equations, alpha square, alpha square cancel, you will get P minus P dash, P minus P dash alpha plus Q minus Q dash equal to 0. On subtracting, P minus P dash times of alpha plus Q minus Q dash equal to 0. By subtracting, you will get this alpha square minus alpha square cancel. P alpha minus P dash alpha is P minus P dash into alpha plus Q minus Q dash equal to 0. From this, P minus P dash into alpha equal to, if you bring it to the right hand side, Q minus Q dash on the right hand side, it is Q dash minus Q. If it is bring to the right hand side, this plus Q minus Q dash, it becomes Q dash plus Q minus Q. Q plus become minus Q and Q dash minus become plus Q dash when you bring it to the right hand side. So from this you will get alpha equal to Q dash minus Q by P minus P dash. See how far we will get Q minus Q dash by P dash minus P. But we, have, we will have Q dash minus Q by P minus P. So taking minus on both sides, numerator, both numerator and denominator, such that just you multiply by minus, you will get this is Q minus Q dash. If you take minus outside, it is becomes Q minus Q dash by. If you take again, minus again here, you will get p dash minus p. Minus cancel on numerator and denominator, you will get the answer q minus q dash by p dash minus p. Therefore, alpha equal to q minus q dash, cancelling minus numerator and denominator, common minus, you will get q minus q dash by q minus q dash by p dash minus p. This is our first expression, alpha equal to this answer. Okay. To get the second answer, multiply the first equation by P. P dash. Sorry. Well, multiply the first equation by P dash. You will get P dash alpha square plus P dash into P alpha plus P dash Q equal to 0. 